This is Walker Physics 4th edition, and we're in chapter 6 on applications in Newton's laws. In the end of the chapter, questions in the section on circular motion. This is question number 63. Referring to the problem, previous problem, uh, which is in the small print here. So you're driving a car, you go over a hump, and then they want to know your apparent weight. So what's happening is, since you're going in a circle, you have the car seat pushing up on you, that's your apparent weight, so that's your normal force. And then you have the centripetal force pulling down because you're in a circle, and that will counter, and so you feel less heavy than you would. So your normal mg weight that, you, that the car seat is pushing back up on you with, that normal, normal force, is reduced when you go over the top of a circle. It's increased if you go to, uh, down into a, into a dip. You would actually feel heavier. Your, in fact, your suspension of your car will even give as you go down into a dip. So we found uh, it's whatever the apparent weight was um, from the previous question. But they're using the same idea and saying, referring to this problem, how fast do you have to go so that the people in your car feel weightless? Right, so I've got here the idea that th th there's a couple of different ways you could do this problem. If you, if you are weightless, if you feel weightless, what that means is that the only force acting on you is gravity. So your, your centripetal acceleration is equal to gravity. So if your centripetal acceleration is equal to g, then at that moment, you feel like you're falling, okay? You're weightless. So I just know that G is 9.81 and your centripetal acceleration is going to be V squared over R, okay? And I know that the radius is 35. So this is 35. So I'm going to multiply 9.81 by 35. Okay, and then do a square root. And I have velocity equals 18.53 meters per second. And we have two, two, two significant digits everywhere. So this is going to be your velocity has to be 19 meters per second. Okay. You can also do it so that the normal force, uh, the normal force is going to equal zero. If your normal force is going to equal zero, then th you could easily, that because that's what's happening when you're weightless. You could find it a different way. I just think this is a little bit faster, but try it. See if you can do it two different ways. Okay, make you smart.